Guys, look at the disgrace Bola Metinimbo and his allies, his aides, have brought upon this particular country just because of the quest to power. If Bola Metinimbu is outrightly very plain and pure in all his dealings with his aides and those persons he appointed, there will be no cause for any alarm stating and all the court cases and series of petitions and evidence is labelled under Bola Metinimbu. The question is, why is it that if any atrocity happens, Bola Metinimbu's name is there. That's one of the reasons why some persons in this country are no longer comfortable with it. And P2B, Atiku Abubakar, and some prominent politicians, even the former president of this particular country, Ulushrego Basanjo, is also lamenting that Bola Metinimbu is corrupt. As a matter of fact, bearing the, com the comparison between Bola Metinimbu and president, former president Buhari, they are even stating that Buhari is far more better than Bola Metinimbu. From one case to another, from one allegation to another, from one petition to another, from one evidence to another, all are all hovering around Bola Metinimbu. It is so, so ridiculous. You see, if Bola Metinimbu can truncate the judgment in the judiciary of this particular country, he cannot see ways to truncate any judgment in the United States of America. Atiku Abubaka filed petition against him in the United States of America over the declaration of his documents and certificates, which are all fraudulent. Come and give requisite reports over those documents. Bola Metinimbo is nowhere to be found, only for him to be defending with his lawyers and his aides. You see, one of the advices Bola Metinimbo ought to understand is very clear and certain that Evil cannot be condoled for a very long time. Now, look at what has just happened. Look at how Gwajabi Amela has now exposed this country. Gwajabi Amela is the chief of staff of this particular country. And Bola Metinimbu appointed him. All appointees of Bola Metinimbu have all committed series of fraudulent activities of which Gwajabi Amela has, has now been unraveled. Guys, let's go through the documents recently that was released by the United States. Bola Metinibu Chief of Staff, Femi Gwajabi Miyamila, has been finally banned from practicing law in the state of Georgia, United States, because he stole 25,000 US dollars. In the same word, this is enough to get him fired as Chief of Staff, but because he serves as a government of under Bola Metinibu, the case of beds of the same feathers, nothing is going to be, nothing is going to happen to this particular incident but the united states you see they cannot truncate their judiciary they cannot truncate their laws guys look at this particular document that is showing clearly that he outrightly stole twenty-five thousand us dollars guys let's go through this particular document that is showing outrightly how gajabi amela succeeded and stole this particular money in the united states of which he has been banned from practicing law this disciplinary matter is before the court on respondent Femi Gwajabi Amela's petitions for voluntary discipline, which was filed under Baru 422B subsection 2 before a formal complaint was issued. In his petition, Gwajabi Amela admits violating Rule 115 subsection 1 of the Georgia Rules of Professional Conduct set forth in Baru 422 102 subsection D. Although a violation of this rule is punishable by disbandment, Gwajabi Amela requests the imposition of a 24 month suspension. He agrees. However, he accepts a suspension of up to 36 months. The state bar has no objection to the acceptance of Gwajabi Amela's petition as so long as this petition is less than 36 days in duration. Now, guys, let's go in details. Gwajabi Amela, who has only been a member of the bar since 2001, admits that he accepted payment of 25,000 US dollars as settlement of a client's personal injury claims, deposited those funds in his Antonini Trust account in January 2003, failed to promptly disburse those funds to his clients, withdrew those funds for his own personal use 
closed his practice and moved out of the country. This is fraudulent. This is ridiculous and unbelievable. Although Guajabi Amila ultimately paid the 25000 to his client in 2006, he admits his conduct violated Rule 115, Subsection 1, and that a result he is subject to disbarment. In mitigation of his actions, Guajabi Amila asserts that he had completely fully with his disciplinary authorities repaid his client and is extremely remorseful for the consequences of his conduct. Under these circumstances, we conclude that a 36-month suspension is an appropriate sanction. Accordingly, Guajabi Amila hereby is suspended for a period of 36 months. He is reminded of his duties under Baru 421 subsection 1 of the jurisdiction. Guys, look at how Bola Metinimbu and his ally has just been suspended from practicing anything law. Question is, how did Gajabi Amela collected these particular funds from a client? Probably he is trying to defend that client. Now he failed to pay that money back to the client. Now he has been suspended. And this is someone who Bola Metinimbu went and appointed as chief of staff. Guys, if you know the duties of a chief of staff, chief of staff is more or less someone who is running all the operational and administrative duties. This is unbelievable. The international world will be looking at this particular country like a country where anything can go. Where corrupt leaders are being elected and given positions upon positions. Look at the ministers that was appointed by Bola Metinimbu. Those ministers have not yet resigned from their former offices. Minister of Works, David Umai, is still holding his position and is in the Senate House. He ought to have resigned from the Senate House and uphold the, the position of the minister. No one is looking at that aspect. Look at Gwajabi Amela. The same thing is also happening. He is holding a rep representative office in the House of Representatives. He is also a chief of staff. And coupled with the fact that the United States has now unveiled this particular thing and given, and they have sanctioned him by a ban. Guys, this is unbelievable. Well, react on the comment section. What is your take over this matter? And what is your advice to the United States court on this particular sanction they have given to the chief of staff of this particular country and what is your advice to Bola Metinimbu on him to take action over this particular fraudulent activity that occurred years back and of which the united states has taken action don't forget to always hit the subscribe button so that we always get notified when we drop more trending videos